Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last season, we addressed the topic of obedience, and before that, the sacraments. The sacraments are an important means of obtaining God's grace, of course, but there's another way to obtain grace, through prayer. That's why this season, we'll be looking at the subject of prayer. First, the meaning and requirements of prayer in general, then different types of prayers that are commonly said in the Catholic Church. The first question will be, what is a prayer? A prayer just means a means of communication with God or the saints. The word itself means a plea or entreaty, like humbly asking someone for something. Because of this, a prayer by definition is not specifically worshipful. Some prayers are used as a form of worship, but it's not necessarily so. Therefore, there are some prayers that should only be directed to God, prayers of worship or adoration, and some prayers that can be directed to any of the saints. Prayers requesting help can be directed to any human being who's a saint, or even to the good angels, because they're saints too. Why pray to the saints? Well, because they can offer those prayers to God. While we're here on earth, our own method of praying will probably be imperfect in some way, but it's not that way with the saints in heaven. According to the Bible, they offer prayers to God for those on earth. And when he had opened the book, the four living creatures and the four and twenty ancients fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. Revelation 5.8 If the saints in heaven pray to God, who do they pray for? Clearly, they pray for people who haven't reached heaven yet. Therefore, the saints intercede for us in heaven. Therefore, we're justified in asking them to intercede for us. When we pray, we lift up our minds and hearts to God to adore Him, to thank Him for His blessings, to ask His forgiveness, and to plead for the graces that we need for our bodies and souls. These, in fact, are two different functions of prayer, thanksgiving and petitions. Prayers of thanksgiving are about thanking God for what He's done for us, and prayers of petition are about asking God for help. There are also prayers of adoration, the highest type, which are about praising God and worshiping Him directly. Certainly some prayers can contain more than one of these. For example, the Our Father, or the Lord's Prayer, is both adoration and petition. There's one more distinction to be made between different kinds of prayer. Some prayers are vocal prayers, the kind of prayers that are spoken aloud, and some are mental prayers, the kinds that aren't spoken aloud. Mental prayer is also called meditation. In mental prayer, we spend time thinking about God or His revealed truth, so that we can be persuaded to lead holier lives by doing so. Vocal prayer is when we do the same thing while expressing our holy thoughts with words. However, vocal prayer doesn't just express holiness, it also strengthens it. In order to perform mental prayer effectively, we should try to prepare ourselves for it, and there's a few ways to do that. Most importantly, remember that you're in the presence of God, and focus on Him in humility. You can request the grace to benefit from mental prayer from the Holy Spirit, seriously reflect on some truth of salvation, derive a good resolution from those thoughts, and finally, thank God for whatever knowledge and grace you've received. This is one way to get the most out of mental prayer, and it helps to get the most out of vocal prayers, too. Prayer is required for salvation. No one with the use of reason can be saved unless they pray. Next time, what are the requirements in order for something to be a valid prayer? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.